Hi, I'm Old Nurse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. On my YouTube channel, I like to uh, share on the weekends some things that have nothing to do with Old Norse, including my Favorite Places series. And one of my favorite places in the world is the San Juan Mountains in southwestern Colorado. Right now we're on a uh, side road, part of the Alpine Loop, a four-wheel drive route that connects the uh, towns of Silverton, Ure, and Lake City. And I first drove this route with my grandfather, uh, who I call Papa June Crawford, in, uh, oh, it was probably 1999, something like that. Uh, he was showing me around Colorado, and he told me that if I wanted to see the truly, the, 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 the peak of Colorado, not to make a pun, uh, that I needed to get to the San Juans because I mean, this would be Rocky Mountain National Park if it were closer to the Front Range. And I mean that in both ways. They would have selected this for its beauty, and now it would be just covered with people and their pecks of, of dog droppings, you know? But because it's way out here, far from any significant towns, it's remained very untouched. Uh, there's still active mining out here, of course. This is part of the Colorado Mineral Belt that stretches from the southwest corner of the state up to... Uh, uh, going up northeast through uh, Leadville and on up, of course, to area of Central City, uh, close to uh, uh, close to my roots, I suppose you'd say, and 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 of course in Boulder. And it's just, I don't know, it just it just takes me takes me to a higher place. Again, no pun intended, right? Uh, to be among these mountains, there's just something special about the way. I mean, look out this valley here. It just takes you, you know, as far as the eye can see, 1,300 foot, 13,000 foot, excuse me, mountains, 14,000 footers, 14ers as we say here in Colorado, beautiful brooks. Seems like there's an elk or a fox or something like that. Just about every rock you could throw out your window, you'd hit something like that. Groves of aspen and spruce interchanging. I just love it. And the sunsets and sunrises are to die for. So to me, this is, if the Rocky Mountains are the place that I think are just the best in the world, I think the San Juans are the best of the Rocky Mountains. So I particularly love uh, this area on the Alpine Loop and then what's called the Million Dollar Highway, uh, which is uh, roughly the stretch of uh, the highway between about Ure and about Durango just the red mountains and and uh, all the old mines I just love it and in fact I wear um, jewelry from Ure Silversmiths that depict the uh, the San Juans on my my cuff and my ring there it's just a personal special special connection so I'm going to show you some more views of this place as as, as we go uh, this will be a little bit uh, this jointed filmed uh, different times of the day uh, but I just want to give you a feel for this place and why I love it so much. Although there's another range closer to Estes Park in Colorado that's called the Never Summer Mountains, and the San Juans, you could reasonably well say that it's never summer. It's May 21st, 2019, as I record this, and we're in the middle of a snowstorm. In fact, just up the pass uh, at uh, 10,000 something feet, I was getting snowed on about the hardest I've ever been snowed on in Colorado. Right now, I am close to the top of Molas Pass in the beautiful San Juan Mountains in southwestern Colorado, where I'm also uh, uh, covered with dirt because I have uh, made some poor decisions about uh, where to take my truck and have dealt with some serious <laughs> tire problems today. Uh, but, you know, that's the kind of thing that you accept as the cost of doing business in a beautiful place like this. Well, for now, I uh, am going to wish you all the best from beautiful Colorado.